Yo, can you see me? Can you can you see me? There's, there's a lot of Yeezys here. Let's just let's just do it like we do it. Yo, 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 yo. Hey guys, it's Poppin' Jocks right here. Back with another unboxing, and today obviously is really, really special. As you can see, I have just about every Yeezy that has dropped this year. So let's go through a massive unboxing and take a look at everything. But in the process, uh, I want to let you guys know that there's an opportunity for you to actually win three of these. Three of these, and all you have to do is actually wait. That, wait, no. Uh, so I'm editing, and I realize that's a lie. It's not three of the shoes. It's three people will win a pair of shoes. Get what I mean? I'll give you more details a little bit later, but for right now, let's go back to the video. And all you have to do is follow the instructions that I will give you later on in the video. This video is brought to you by the good folks over at Stadium Goods. If you're looking for kicks, they're definitely the place to go. They have a store in New York City. I'll give you more details about that. It'll be all in the description. Also, you can find them online as well. But for right now, Let's get into the unboxing to take a look at, you know, pretty much every Yeezy that's dropped in 2019. All right, to kick things off, I'm gonna start with a 700 because uh, you guys may not know this, but I don't have a pair of 700s. I have 350s, I have 350v2s. I pretty much have every other Yeezy except for the 700. No, well, I take that back. I don't have uh, the boots, the Yeezy boots. That's I don't have those, but I'm just honestly just not interested in those. That just doesn't uh, spark my fancy, I'll say. So let's start with the 700, and this pair in particular is the Inertia colorway. So let's take these out of the box. Um, you know, I've started to like these a little bit more the more that I see them. I was a bit originally kind of turned off because of the whole dad shoe trend, but <laughs> as I stay, all right, as I get into the sneaker world, I'm starting to like them a little more. So here you see, this is the Inertia colorway, it has the pops right there, then it has like this gray on the upper, but then it also has like this sort of like greenish tint to it, almost like, um, I think I would call it aqua, an aqua sort of tint to it. Obviously the mesh panels, and they actually flip the colors from the mesh panels everywhere you go. So at the toe, it's this like brownish clear, almost like flat white, but then they have like the turquoise here, and then they do a good job with the uh, with the suede on these that are on the overlays. Has a really nice feel to it, and then leather on the eye stays gives the shoe a nice touch as well. Let me take both of these out of the box to give you a better look at these. Just I think a really it's a really nice looking shoe. The more the more I see it, it's one of those that again I just wasn't really into it at first, but now that I've been able to kind of get my hands on a pair, I took a peek at all of these earlier and. Uh, I'm definitely more open to rocking a pair of these. Uh, obviously these have boost, which you can see shines through the outsole right there. If you wanna wonder about that boost feel, if you wonder if you wanna get that boost feel in there. Definitely a cool look. Uh, yeah, not a bad, not a bad looking shoe. And uh, I think a good start to our unboxing. So let's move on to the next pair. This is one of the pairs that I was really interested in getting my hands on. This is the static pair. Uh, Yeezy are Adidas. I say they're doing some really different things with the Yeezy line and I kind of like how they're basically creating two different versions of the same shoe. So this is the static pair of the V2, which actually looks really, really nice. Uh, I never got into really wearing the V2s, but you know, just taking a look at these when you get, a, get them in your hand, seeing them online is one thing, but getting them in your hand is a totally different story. Again, obviously you have the boots there and the like translucent milky sort of outsole. And then you have the prime knit on the upper. Uh, introducing this see-through sort of, I don't know, do they just call it a stripe? I think they just call it a stripe. Just introducing that see-through stripe really kind of gives the shoe a totally different feel and obviously lets you rock different sort of socks, um, whatever that is, whether it's stand socks or something else along those lines, definitely gives you a different look. But overall, this is a solid one. I'm not, I'm not mad at this. I, I know people were going pretty crazy over this colorway, over the salt colorway online. Um, obviously, I wasn't able to get a pair, but yeah, I really, I really like the direction here. Let's let's keep it pushing. We got a lot of shoes to go through here. All right, let's go to 700s, and this colorway is the Vanta colorway. Uh, the Vanta colorway is uh, was I don't know, caused a little bit of conversation because there's a black colorway, and then there was the Vanta colorway, and they look pretty similar. This one obviously has a little bit of a different tone to it. 
And the thing with this one, I personally feel, is that you lose some of the texture that you get with the lighter colors of the 700. This really, it's almost like monochromatic and you lose some of the detail that you get with the other colors. Not that, not that it's a bad shoe or if you want something that's more monochromatic, you still get that feel with this one. But with the other, the lighter colors like the, like the Inertia, you definitely get more depth to the shoe and you lose some of that depth with these. Not, not that it's bad, but you just lose some of the detailing I think that you get with the shoe, which is something that I feel makes the shoe really pop. It gives the shoe that character. So that's the Vanta colorway. It's black, but not black. It's Vanta, whatever that means. All right, let's move to another 700. And this one is the salt colorway of the 700. Now, this one is one of the ones that I really like. Again, it still has that sort of greenish turquoise toward a sort of hue to it, or maybe aqua is the proper word for it. Um, and you can see here, it really shows that color. It bounces off of the off-white suede really well. But then you have the, me the mesh panels all giving that sort of aqua feel to it. Then you have the pop of reflection there, right there. And then the suede at the heel. The nice detailing with the black and the black on the outsole. Not a detail that really a lot of people pay attention to, but obviously the outsole can really help influence the outfit and show how a shoe is going to pop. So adding the little extra black that kind of just peeks out beneath the outsole right there adds a new touch to it and obviously the boost is there as well if that's something that you're interested in. From what I understand, these are mad, mad comfy. Again, I haven't had a pair of these myself yet and these sizes are actually too small for me. This is like a nine, so I can't put my foot inside of these, but definitely an interesting looking shoe, something that I think really pops and again, when you have it with the different colors as opposed to the Vanta that we just saw, it adds a little bit of texture to it and allows it to pop in my opinion and gives you some of the texture and detailing around it. But good looking shoe, I like it. All right, we only, okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, seven more to go. Let's go with uh, 350. And this one in particular is the black 350. Now they've done a couple different versions of the black 350. And this is one of the more, I think, the popular ones because it has that sort of grayish sort of tone to it. And for those that, you know, that dress down and dress in that black, I like to have that all black sort of look. This fits perfectly with that, even though you have the little pop of red right there. So this allows you to have the all black slash gray look, but then you just have a pop of color right there on the heel. And obviously for if you've seen some of the Yeezy line, you know that this colorway fits right in with his sort of style for his clothing line. So this is, this is perfect. All right, for the next V2, it's crazy to think now, as I go through these, think that so many Yeezys dropped this year. And I remember like sometimes the resale prices were going down and some were going up and they got to kind of like a sweet spot of like that three, $400 range. And I think that's where they're going to stay. There's obviously some that cost more and some that cost less, but I do like the fact that Yeezys are becoming more accessible to people. And it's not just this super high priced sneaker that no one can get their hands on. So this is, ah, uh, this is probably, my favorite, and I know there was a lot of controversy about this version of the V2. Some people liked it, some people didn't, um, but I just like it because it's really so freaking bright. I mean, look at that. That is insane. If you wanna get somebody's attention, this is the shoe to wear. If you wanna, as they say, break necks walking down the street, this is the colorway that is going to do that. I mean, that is just insanely bright, insane insanely bright like seeing these on the table on top of the white table they all like they almost blur out because they are so freaking bright this is crazy not mad at them uh i think this is definitely my favorite like just wearing this is just going to definitely get you so much attention if you if you're looking for attention when it comes to your sneakers this is the colorway to rock have another one this is the uh clay now this is another one that i really like the colorway i like that they're playing with color on these and not going simple now this one uh a lot of people again a lot of, uh, the yeezys for some reason have been really controversial some people like them some people don't um some people like this colorway some people don't uh orange is not an easy color to match with with your gear or clay is not an easy colorway to match with your gear but i think that this one definitely has like it has like the brown tones inside of the orange and it's not just an orange colorway so I think with that brown it allow you to mix it up and definitely wear it with different outfits so if you're into that look 
I think this is one you should definitely pick up. I know I'm saying that pretty much about everyone. It's just that I feel like they've created Yeezys for different sort of color palettes, depending on the style of your dress. A lot of people dress in certain colors a lot. Like I like to wear black and blues a lot, and you'll see that black, blues, and grays a lot. So that's kind of where my shoes usually fall. Uh, but for those that wear like more browns and oranges and stuff like that, this fits right inside of your color palette. You know, kind of look at your closet and see what colors you have the most. And that's probably the colors that you favor. All right, let's go to the next one. This is a 700 and this is the analog colorway i don't remember what this one looks like to be honest let's see here oh so this one is a bright white now this of of the ones that we've seen so far um this mm -hmm. is probably i would say my least favorite of the 700 this although this is definitely more in the dad shoe feel this colorway feels very dad shoe if that makes any sense i feel like this is something that dads would actually wear as opposed to like cool people wearing dad shoes if that makes any sense just because this color palette with like the tan and the white and the gray it kind of goes into that like literal dad shoe sort of territory for me so i don't think this is one that i would actually wear i actually i'm gonna say no this is not one that i personally would actually wear but if uh you know if you're into that sort of actual dad shoe look on the dad shoe then this may be the colorway for you just not the one for me Okay, so in order to win, I know this is a really, really weird interruption to this video, but I wanted to give you the details on how you win and I had to make it like big and amazing so you would pay attention. Okay, so in order to win, you need to do a couple of things. One, you need to subscribe to Stadium Goods here on YouTube, so hit that subscribe button. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, make sure you follow Stadium Goods over on Instagram. Again, I'll put a link down in the description for you. You need to like this video, so hit that like button three times just to be safe. Uh, the other thing you need to do is leave a comment down below with your size, your location, and the shoe that you want. And we'll go through the comments and pick a comment. It's gonna be like two weeks from now, we'll pick a comment. So you have two weeks to enter. You only need to enter once. And then the last thing is, why don't you go ahead and send this to a friend and let them know that this contest is going so they have the opportunity to win as well. Again, we're giving away three pairs, one, two, three individuals. That Not, not one, two, three. So one pair goes to three different individuals. You can pick the pair that, you understand what I'm saying. There's an opportunity for you to win. And hey, just because you want to get some bonus points, why don't you go ahead and follow me over on Instagram as well. Now, in order to win, you need to, now in order to win, you need to complete all of the steps. One, subscribe to Stadium Goods here on YouTube. Two, follow them over on Instagram. Three, like this video. Four, leave a comment on this video with your shoe size, the shoe that you want, and then your location. And then five, tag a friend that you think would want a pair of Yeezys. Don't be greedy. You can't be the only person that wins. Show some love for your friends. Come on, people. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let's get back to the video because there's a couple more shoes I need to unbox. All right. Uh, we have three pair left. And this is the 350. This is the true form. Now, I remember when this one first came out, it was just that TRFRM, and I didn't know if it was true form or terraform. I thought it was terraform. I thought it was gonna be this green thing just because I'm like a science nerd, but it was true form. And it's definitely kind of like a, just like almost like a gray sort of colorway. But then you have the pop of the orange, which is kind of like the clay that we saw in the other colorway as well. And if you look really close, there's actually hints of like, uh, almost like an olive or a green inside of the primate it's very very light you can barely see it you have to really look close to see it and that kind of brings me back to the whole terraform thing which is obviously preparing a planet to be lived on and, and growing green and vegetables and stuff there so again that's super nerdy and very sci-fi um, and I don't know if that was their intention with the true form or terraform sort of theme but that's just what I get from it. And again, the orange with the clay just kind of gives it that pop. And you can see they actually added a little bit of that orange here with the boost to give it that extra bit of color. All right, we're down to our last pair. We have a 350 and a 700. Uh, I think I'll save the 700 for last. Let's go with the 350. And this is the hyperspace colorway. Um, again, messing with my whole sci-fi thing here. And this one is kind of like the what do you call it, the softer glow colorway. So if you had the glow and you're like, ah, wait, that's too bright, then this is probably the colorway you should get. It still has that same sort of 
color or that same hue, but it doesn't have the saturation uh, that you need with the green, the bright green glow colorway. So this one has almost, it's almost like a whitewashed version of the uh, of the glow colorway, which I actually like. If you wanna have that same feel, but just tone it down a little bit. One more, this is the last one. This is the 700 and this is the geode colorway of the 700. And this one actually is a little bit, so this one, so with the Vanta colorway, I told you how it was like that black, but it kind of lost some of the depth. With this one, with the geode, it adds a little bit more of the texture. It has like the browns, it has the grays, it has like this darker gray, or maybe granite is what you would call it. And then you have obviously the midsole pop, and then they actually have like a little bit of blue here. I'm gonna call it like a navy blue. So even though it looks almost monotone, it has like different tones and different hues in here that allows the shoe to keep the depth and the texture, uh, which I think is really important for this shoe. It gives the shoe the character that you need. And then it obviously has the gum outsole, which is always, always a win for me. So if you wanna add something to your collection that's on the darker side, but still allows you to keep the textures and the characteristics of the 700, this is probably, I would say, the best way to go of, of the, of the uh, 700s that we've seen so far. Just, just very, very nice. Just definitely keeps that texture and keeps that color and allows the shoe to pop a little more. And uh, yeah, I definitely like I, like, I like being able to see the textures and character of a shoe. I think that, think that means a lot. Yeah, so if you want these, definitely go ahead and grab a pair of these. And again, all of these shoes are available over at Stadium Goods if you wanna grab yourself a pair. But if you wanna win yourself a pair, make sure you follow the instructions. Go down below to the description and it'll give you the details on everything that you need to do to win yourself a pair. This is basically every shoe from the Yeezy line that released in 2019, 350s, and 700 are technically 350 V2, not just 350, but you guys know. If you're a sneakerhead, you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, uh, make sure you give Stadium Goods a follow. Thank you for them for sponsoring this video. I am Jacques Slade. As always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you really like what you see, why don't you go ahead and turn on those notifications. Hope you all have a great day and good luck to uh, everyone out there that enters the contest. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.